Last year, Naomi, when you came in, your cakes were seriously popular. And I think they were so easy and so attainable for the home cook. Oh, good. So when you come in today and I see cake recipe, I'm very excited. What cake are we doing today? I love a good cake, uh, as you know. <laughs> yes. uh, so today we're going to do a little lemon meringue cake. Oh, so something different. Yep. Um, you know, normally we do big cakes. So today we thought we'd do cute little individual ones. So if you're having a dinner party, everyone gets their own cake at the end. Love it. Yeah. So what do we start with? All right, so we've got a few components with this recipe. Okay. So what we want to do first is if you can start the lemon meringue and then I'll do the cake. So we've got some sugar in here. Yes, already. so we've got uh, three quarters of a cup of caster sugar mm -hmm. and you're going to need to crack in two egg yolks and one whole egg. Crack them into the bowl and then just give them a whisk and then we put it through the sieve so you remove any little harder bits in right. the curd. Okay, so you do that first. So you, you can do it before, yeah. or you must do it afterwards. Either yeah. or it really doesn't make it's any right. difference. I like your little tricks, Naomi. They <laughs> usually work, so that's good. Okay, so two egg yolks. Two egg yolks. So sure we crack them. Fresh and then eggs. one whole egg. And so. then after that, we'll okay. use um, just the rind of one lemon. So okay. I can even do that quickly for you. So straight through that sieve. Yeah, and then just push that through. All right. So then you're going to need after you do that. Mm -hmm. Third of a cup of lemon juice. Yep. I'm going to squeeze that for you. Nice and juicy, those lemons. There you go. It has uh, caught quite a lot of it that, has. hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so look at that. Perfect. Perfect amount. Third of a cup of lemon juice. Yes. Um, if you can, just start whisking that. I'll chop the butter. So this is um, 75 grams of butter. Okay, so nice cold butter works the best. All right. Pop those in and you can get that on. And literally what we're just starting to do now is just get it to a nice, beautiful, thick consistency. Mm -hmm. So while you do that, then I can start making the cake. Great. OK, I'll keep an eye on this. Fantastic. So I'll switch over to the mixer now. Yep. So this is a this cake is a beautiful, rich, buttery cake um, and, it's, and it's really going to um, complement the tartness and then the sweetness of the meringue. So it sounds delicious. All right, so we have 150 grams of unsalted butter and it is at room temperature. Mm -hmm. So I'll just pop that in. And then we have three quarters of a cup of caster sugar. Again, using caster sugar because you get that um, beating and creaming really nice and quickly. Mm -hmm. Pop that in. Now what I'll do is I'll get this going because it only takes a couple of minutes with the scraper. And what I'll do is I'll sift the flour and the baking powder at the same time. Great. Okay. Okay. Turn this on. Because we've got the scraper, it won't take very long, so um, I'll sift the flour and the baking powder. Great. So straight onto... Yeah, just onto the baking paper. Great. It's just an easier way to do it. So one and a quarter cups mm -hmm. of flour and one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder. Give that a sift. So when you just pour it, it'll be easy, obviously, to pour in. Yeah, I Definitely. love that little trick. Okay. I'm stealing that idea. That's okay. <laughs> you can steal away. Good idea. All right. And now I just need to mix my eggs and my cream and my vanilla together. Okay. So we have three egg yolks and one egg white. So it's a, like I said, it's a really rich buttery recipe. I love this little bowl. This is the second bowl that I'm going to use later on to do the beautiful um, Swiss meringue. All right. So I'm just going to turn that off because that's already ready. Leave that aside like that. Pop my yolks in here. So one. Oh. Again, just separating. Making sure that you're not getting any yolk at all for the meringue. Okay, so we've got all the eggs mm -hmm. and this is a half a cup of pouring cream. Great. So it is a nice rich recipe. And then just a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. And we'll just give that a quick whisk. And then we're ready to start adding in everything together. So we'll just turn it on low. Mm -hmm. Just a folding action. Pour half of the cream mixture in. And then again, the baking paper is a helpful little tool. You're just pouring in half. Oh, look at that. Okay. Much easier. And then the other half, rest of it. And you've got it on low because you don't want to overwork that have, flour. Yeah, and I just want to also, it'll make a mess if we have it flying everywhere. Of course. So pouring that in. So we're just getting that mix. I'm just going to turn it up just a little bit just to get that bit in the middle. And then that's it. So perfect. 
All right, so we're spooning that in. How's the lemon curd going? Well, I'll tell you what, I've done my workout for the day. I think, and <laughs> I've look, been very quiet over here today, have. haven't I? I've just made sure I've concentrated on this. And look, look how thick it, it turns. That's perfect. And Is don't that, forget, yeah. it'll thicken a little bit more in the fridge too when you're ready uh, to pop it into the fridge because we do want it nice and cold. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just spreading this out. So how long will you cook that in the oven for? Then? Okay, so 160 with a fan uh, for 25 minutes and that's all you need. Okay, and this lemon curd, I'm going to take off the heat now. Yep. Pop it in the fridge. Get it nice and cold. Okay, great. Fantastic. Cake is cooked, cooled down. Yes. The curd, look how much it's thickened up. It's beautiful. Just from we want it down. nice and cold from the fridge. Perfect. Perfect. Ready to go. So all we have to do is our frosting. And this is very interesting. We're, we're using meringues to frost it. Yes, so we're doing a Swiss meringue. Now, a Swiss meringue is a little bit different mm -hmm. from how um, a traditional meringue is where you're adding the sugar in gradually. What we want to do is we're going to get a soft, velvety um, Swiss meringue. And I don't know if you do it differently, but this way um, is a little cheat method, mm -hmm. uh, so we don't have to have to add hot toffee into it. Okay, so okay. how do you do this? All right, so we've got our three egg whites from earlier. Yes. And this is our smaller um, bowl that we have so that we can get a nice good volume with a smaller quantity. I love that because sometimes you only want to do a little amount of meringue. You don't yes. want to do a whole amount. And you want um, to get the full yep. amount. Okay, three quarters of a cup of caster sugar again. Mm -hmm. All right, so you've got a saucepan there just with some warm water. You can just turn it on a little bit. Uh, uh, we don't want to yeah. have it boiling or anything. Pop that in. What? Uh, it, the, that's straight going in. straight in? Yep, straight oh. into because it's, it's not boiling and it is a metal bowl. And all you're going to do now is just stir that until the sugar dissolves. Right. And this is going to speed up the process of mixing too. So this is not going to affect the egg whites in any manner? No, you don't think this is going to work, know. but it does. <laughs> okay. And what I might also do is just add in just a little pinch of cream of tartar into there. Mm -hmm. Okay, stir that through. And then what you just want to do is just test it with your fingers and just see that you can't feel any sugar crystals. I think that's ready to go. It's dissolved. It doesn't take very long. It doesn't take long at all, does it? Okay. I was waiting for some scrambled eggs to happen there, no, but it won't. No, we won't have that. It's perfect. Great. Okay, so pop that in to the mixer. Mm -hmm. Lock it in. And so we're going to whisk that until it's quite fluffy and white. Yes, and because we've got um, a scraper, it won't take very long at all. Mm -hmm. So we're only looking for about two minutes. Two minutes. We don't want to overmix it because then we just can't get those beautiful, pretty um, little um, you know, swirls, swirls that yep. we want on top. And I guess I can cut some shapes out. You with, can start with. with so the we're cutter. going to need sixteen, and um, and we'll get nice little perfect little rounds on there. Okay. okay. So let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Glossy. There you go. All right. Perfect. So what we want to do... I'll never do meringues in a different way. Uh -huh. Do them the way that Naomi showed me now. Yes. All right. Take this off. Mm -hmm. I think the crucial point here is just making sure that you don't boil it, you don't, don't get cook it too hot. the yep. egg white. And if you do that, then you can just put it onto um, the mixer and forget about it and you've got the perfect it's meringue true. every time. Love yeah. it. Okay. So would you like me to fill that? Just So you're just dollop. popping a little bit around and then just smoothing it off. Okay, is that too much? No, that should be good. I love, and that's what we I want. love the curds. I'm like, ooh. Yum. And we want it nice and thick too, so that's why so it won't ooze out. So okay. just spooning a little bit. Now this takes a little bit of um, just a couple of goes, but and if you're not too sure, you can always just pipe it on too. Yeah. Alright, so pop that on. Wow, look at that. And then do you want to do the blow torching? <laughs> so this yeah. is a cheats way of getting it nice and golden without having to pop it back in the oven because if we pop it back in the oven, then we'll melt the lemon curds. So we want to keep everything. Okay, so when you're using a blow torch, of course, be very careful. And it's just lightly, isn't it? Just yep. to get that just to get a charred beautiful top. golden colour. Okay. And you can do as many oh, little look pieces at you want. that. Gosh, if, if I had a dinner party one. and serve this, I think my guests would be extremely happy. 
How's that? That Amy? looks gorgeous. Look at that. There you Love go. it. That's for you. <laughs> oh, look, I really, I mean, I, I'm going to do that at my next dinner party because they're a lot of fun. And like you said, the most important thing, getting ahead of time. You can get the cake done. Get the cake you can done. get the curd done. Mm -hmm. You just, all you have to do is the topping. Yep, and you saw how quick it was. Shall we have a taste? You go. That's okay. all for you. <gasps> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a just cut into that. Oh, yeah. Yum. I was just going to have one whole big mouthful, oh. but I shouldn't do that. All right. How is it? Yum. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I think that one is going to be just as popular as your chocolate puddings that you've oh, done. Oh, the sticky, sticky day, day pudding Yum. was so good. I think oh, this good. one is going to beat that one because Thank that you. is a legendary little cake. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>